this video just to tell you about what absolute bullshit the press are, right? And about Count Tommy Cashman, obviously because he was sentenced today. Let's go straight on to the press. They turned around and said £250,000 was placed on Tommy Cashman's head by um, fucking gangsters, whatever. It's a load of fucking bollocks. That's a complete and utter lie. Think about it like this. Why is anyone going to put 250 grand on Cashman's head? The newspaper said it's so Cashman doesn't talk. Who have you ever knew in the history of the prison system has been murdered for a hit? They haven't, because there's a load of fucking bollocks. The newspapers are chatting shit, right? But they want to fucking manipulate the public into believing that there's 250,000 pounds on Cashman's head because it makes a good headline. The truth is, it's an absolute load of shit, right? But on top of that, even if Cashman wanted to talk and say, yeah, I know information on 10 murders, if he wanted to talk, the prosecution would not be interested in giving him a reduced sentence because he killed a kid. So there's no way on this planet. And then on top of that, you talk about the Liverpool, Ma sorry, the Height Mafia or Stockbridge Mafia. It's on my Instagram story. If you go on Sam Walker UK on Instagram, type the full thing in and it comes up. He said fucking him. Um, the Stockbridge Mafia, Height and Mafia. That's a load of fucking bollocks. There's no way in Liverpool where there's a mafia. That's a complete and utter load of shit. I've been fucking a criminal all my life. There's no fucking mafia in Liverpool. These fucking newspapers want to fucking stare it up and fucking make it the Stockbridge Mafia. What the fuck is that about? Who the fuck is that? But the mad thing is to be someone in that area believing, yeah, 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 bro, where the mafia? Come on, fuck off. There's no Stockbridge Mafia. There's no height of mafia. Fucking, let's have a right. Anyone of any sort of calibre, right? Who, who was any sort of mafia, in inverted brackets, um, wouldn't be on a fucking local council estate all the fucking lives. That's not whatsoever. That's a bottom tier fucking criminal who's on the local council estate selling drugs for them all their life. That's just, that's just a fact. But, um, but the thing is, it's, but that's that. It's a load, a load of fucking bullshit. Take a note to what the media say. Let's move on to Cashman. So people have asked what will happen to him over the next fucking, fucking 40 odd years. But the thing is, what you've got to understand is that he'll probably be okay in his local prisons. But then when he gets to like Whitemore, Full Sutton, like, like that, them maximum security prisons, these people would have under listened to that news report thinking, oh, is it 250 grand on him? Now these guys are hungry, right? So they'll fucking, some of them will be look, looking at it, but at the same time, regardless, someone will throw chip fat oil in his face. That's what happens to child killers, regardless. Like the difference with him and Sean Mason, I'm going to use that comparison because there's a difference. They both killed a kid, but the big difference is one big difference. Sean Mercer was a child when he'd done it. He was 16 years old. Right? He had ADHD. He fucking, he obviously didn't understand the gravity of what he was doing. He was a wild 16 year old kid. Even now, he says to people in the prison system, his biggest mistake is that he was laughing in court, but he didn't realize the gravity of what he had done. That's what Sean Mercer says. The difference with Sean Mercer and Tommy Cashman is this. Tommy Cashman's a grown man. He knew exactly what he was doing when he's gone to a house, fucking, and done what he's done and being convicted of it. He knew exactly what, what he was doing. So there's, there's a huge comparison between a kid doing it and a grown man. But let this be an example to any of you, you youngsters. Don't take that fucking risk like that, because I promise you, you'll end up getting fucking slammed these days. Focus on, I'm telling you now, I would never say to you, don't fucking sell drugs, don't do this. How the fuck would I be to say that? Even when people say crime doesn't pay, I can't fucking say around to you and say it doesn't. Because you fucking, you can't say that to someone who's fucking living in a fucking beach in fucking Marbella or something, and, and you've never been to jail, do you know what I mean? So, the thing is, but what I will say to you is, just focus on money. Focus on money, enjoying yourself and getting birds, and that is it. That's all you need to focus on. Swerve all the fucking gangbanger fucking madness, right? Just focus on getting money, enjoying yourself and getting pussy, and that is it. And like, what I mean by it, I don't mean that in, when I say the word pussy, I don't mean that in like a fucking derogatory way to any females who are watching. It's just a fact. Just enjoy yourself, that's, and that's all you need to do. And and that, that's, what, that's what life is literally about. But just fuck all the madness off, all the gangbang and shit. But um, getting back to Tommy, so the life Tommy's going to have is this. He's going to end up on a sex offender's wing for his own protection. He's going to end up um, with like-minded people like himself, child killers, fucking likes of Ian Huntley who killed two little girls. He's got more in common with the likes of Ian Huntley who killed two little girls than he has with, any, with me or anyone else who's a dr drug dealer or alleged drug dealer or com previous drug dealer or current drug dealer, whatever you want to refer to any individual as. He's got more in common with a child killer than he has with a drug dealer, simple. But the thing is, so you'd be on there with like-minded people. 
you be doing the fucking porta potty. You all know about the porta potty. If you don't, as I said, go to my Instagram, Sam Walker UK. You know all about the porta potty. It's where them girls go to Dubai and let Arabs shit and piss on them. Tommy Cashman's gonna be on that sex offenders wing, letting big dirty sex offenders, big black sex offenders, sit on his face and give him a fucking big dirty porta potty, just shitting all over him. And then he's gonna have some big fat white dude sat over him, giving him a chocolate speed bike. If you don't know what the chocolate speed bike is, you need to get over to my Instagram page, as I said, Sam Walker UK, and you know all about the chocolate speed bike. But that's what Tommy Cashman's gonna have. He's probably gonna spend his days giving him oral sex. But he can't, he can't go on normal location, obviously, when he goes to the fucking maximums because he's fucked. There's no way on this planet. He, he, so someone will just do him. That's a fact. Um, yeah, and that's his days, and then he'll sp get out. Well, he's, yeah, he's probably about 70, end up getting cancer or something, and then fucking, and then he'll die in jail. That's that's literally what'll happen. Like, it's not like he's. Yeah, that's that's exactly what'll happen. Because he's not on. He's 75 by the time he gets out. He's, he's fucked. Absolutely fucked. But yeah, it's 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 sad. I feel sorry for the he's got, he's got a family, Annie. So I feel sorry for his fucking um, for his kids. I don't feel sorry for his birth, but I feel sorry for his kids. That's one thing I do feel sorry for because at the end of the day, 